Raise your hand if you have heard about Easy Speak. You have? And you have doubts, and you are here to solve those. I'm going to introduce our following speaker. But before that, I'm going to ask Maggie from United States. She joined in 2015 to help us, to give us some details about, about our speaker. Maggie, the stage, the stage is yours. Thank you, Wendy, Madam Testmaster. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, fellow Testmasters. As your Vice President of Education, we felt that we wanted to use Easy Speak this year. And I am not very versed in it, but I was determined that we would learn it. And I reached out to our club for help. And several people got involved. Jean helped us get it set up. And, and uh, Sharinka has really taken the bull by the horn and has gotten us going on a regular basis. So I asked Sharinka to give us a presentation. I'd like to tell you a little bit about Sharinka. She was born in Bonaire, an island in the Caribbean that belongs to the Dutch kingdom. She joined Toastmasters in 2004. Her home, her home club is Ararat Toastmasters in um, Sarasia. I can, I can never say this country, sorry, but she will tell you. She moved here with uh, work and joined another club. She started a club in Malta Toastmasters. In the moment, she's living in Scotland and is a dual member of the Clyde Toastmasters. She joined the Zoom Academy team in District 71 and is leading the stream of online contests. So please help me welcome Sharinka, one of our very own One Country, One World Toastmaster, who's gonna give us a presentation today on how we can become better users of Easy Speak. Sharinka, the screen is yours. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Wendy. I was born in Bonaire. It's a very dots, very small island in the Caribbean indeed. And today, I'm not really a guest speaker, I'm a member here, but I'm feeling very honored to be considered a guest speaker today. I'm going to talk about easy speak. The word says easy, speak, but for some people in reality, it is not that easy. It's a tool that you need to play around with and eventually you will get the hang of it. It's a tool to help you, our precious member, to schedule your speeches, take roles, and for us, your club committee, we can keep track of your development. In the end, hopefully, it will all become easier. Easy Speak is a tool that has been developed by Malcolm, a Toastmaster in the UK, the Division 71, where I'm now from. And today I'm going to tell you or give you some tips for using EasySpeak. We will look into how to access EasySpeak, the meeting agenda on EasySpeak, how you can request your own speech, how to set your goals on EasySpeak and view your progress, how you can commun communicate with your fellow members, and most importantly, our president and our VP education and our treasurer on Easy Speak. And at the end, we will have a conclusion and hopefully there is time left for some questions that I hope to be able to answer. If not, Jean is also here and together we can answer your questions. If it doesn't work, we can always go back do a bit of a research and give you a proper informed answer. So the first stop, how to access Easy Speak. If you are a brand new user of Easy Speak, so your dual club where you're from doesn't use Easy Speak, the committee will set you up on Easy Speak and you will receive an email like this. It's an invite to join Easy Speak. All you're doing is you're clicking on the link in blue and that will transport you to EasySpeak. Your profile is set up with a username and a password, mind you. Although it's set up for you, we don't know the password. So as soon as you get into EasySpeak, please change your password to something that's familiar to yourself and that's easy to remember for yourself. And if nowadays you have tons of users' names and password, just add it to your password file. You can always change your username. For instance, if I put a username for you, 
RI and you totally don't like it, feel free to update your username to something that you are more familiar or you're comfortable with. For members that are already on EasySpeak and that already knows how EasySpeak works and their club, their home club is already using EasySpeak, if they are on the right platform, meaning the international platform, we have added their user to our platform on one country, one world. I also learned during this that there are three different platforms. The one that one country, one world is on is the international pl um, platform. You have also the European platform where all the countries in Europe are a member of, and UK and Ireland have their own platform, mind you. So the clubs in UK and Ireland are on their own platform. So you may end up with three users like I did. However, you can try to give all the three platforms the same name. Now, you managed to access EasySpeak when you got your invite, you can start playing. So this is your home screen. This is the home screen of One Country, One World. And so in the home screen, you can have a blog, you can meet our members, you have the member space, so it's all on the home screen here. At your right hand side, you can see when we meet, alternate Sundays, where we meet online. And it has an address at the current one is online, because this is an online club. And you can contact our presidents at all his phone numbers or by email. That is our home screen. Most important for us is that we want to know how do we sign up for a role. I'm just skipping meeting now and I'm going to my participation. So you're going to the drop down menu and you're going to choose sign up for a role. And you can see the subsequent meeting, which is on the, on the 8th of November. So the first meeting for the month of November, the second meeting of the month of November, the 22nd is also already available. You can confirm your attendance by clicking yes, or you're not coming, no, or you're still in doubt. So you're ticking the question mark. And all you need to do is click yes. If you think, hmm, I think I can do Table Topic Master, all you're doing is click yes. And that sends a message to our VP Education that you are taking up the Table Topic Master's role. This is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, you're going straight to the meeting of 8th of November. Allow me to change my profile to club member because my profile was on, on officer view. So you're going straight to the meeting date itself. And this is the agenda page where you can also confirm your attendance by clicking this green hand or taking a task by clicking yes at any task available. So let's say I'm accepting to be the accounter on that day. I accept to be the accounter. And I would like to say, for whatever reason, we are all human, something can happen that you cannot make the meeting on that day. You can always go back to the meeting and you're saying, I can do it. It will ask you why you don't want to do it. For instance, I'm not attending, or if you want to give a whole explanation to us, feel free to do that. You're saying, I'm not attending that meeting. And that's you done. You have declined your role. Another way to go and take roles is 
all the way at your left hand side, you see my participation. You can also sign up for meetings there. So that's three ways to sign up for roles. And I'm going to dedicate some minutes to request a speech. Because as you may have seen, there is no way to request a speech on either way. So if I go to sign up for meetings, let me just take myself away from here. Let me leave that for a moment. I cannot sign up for speeches. All I can do is request a speech. If you go to the agenda, it will be the same. It's also request a speech. I go to the agenda of, I'll do the agenda of the 22nd because there's something wrong on the agenda of the 8th. If I look at the agenda of the 22nd, all I can do is request a speech. So what I do, I click on request a speech. And here you're going to give all information that are required for the agenda. So you're going to pick a date. You can put two, three dates if you wish. So you can put your first preferred date first preferred date, your second preferred date, your third preferred date, and then you're going to choose your workbook. You can choose, for instance, I'm going to work on presentation mastery next. So you can say, okay, I'm working on presentation mastery and I'm going to do my first speech, the icebreaker. And then you're going to update your speech title. I'll put SJ introduction intro for instance and you save it mind you when you request your speech it will not appear immediately on the agenda a request goes to our vp education who will be approving your speech and allocating you to a speech slot that's the way it works so while I requested a speech, the window immediately took me to my communicator progress. So that's also another thing you can do on EasySpeak. View your speech progress. So I'm just clicking. So in my participation, you can see you can sign up for meetings, you can request a speech, and you can also view your speech progress. The more speeches you do, all will be appearing down here with the speech you did and the date you, you did it. And also your evaluator, if that has been marked. On this screen, you can also set your goal, your communicator goal. That makes it easier for the VP education to work toward the DCP of our club. Unfortunately, this page or this window has not yet been updated. My new, I need to just new share in order to share this window. Yeah. So this window for taking your goals has not yet been updated by the program development. So it's still stating the old educational system that we were so used to. So for instance, the only option you can use here that you would like to complete X amount of speeches and for what date you would like to have them completed. And for instance, if I say I would like to finish level one, put that for 13th of June and you save it. And then the, the VP education has the information what you would like to achieve and she can also in this our case Maggie can also help you and ask you mm, you have a goal of getting four speeches done you still having have done two two more to go what do you think so she can steer you in the right direction so we have sign access the meeting we have requested speech we view our progress we can also communicate with fellow members. We can go to my communication. 
There's a discussion forum. You can upload your own picture and you can send a message to the president. You can send a message to the VPE and to our treasurer and you can contact other members as well. By contacting all members, you will see our list of membership and you can PM them, meaning send a private message via phone or you can email them. If I go back to my communication and I want to send a message to the VPE, her name will show immediately on top of the message. I may need to say blah, 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 blah is the subject. I'm typing my message in the screen. You can send a copy to yourself so you can check what you have sent to Maggie. You can include, this is more for club committee. They can include a link to the next meeting and all you do is send email and the email is gone to both me and Maggie. Maggie just delete that email. It doesn't contain anything. The other thing I would also like to say is when the day of the meeting come, you would like to have a meeting agenda. How do you get your meeting agenda? Because that also can be a bit tricky. So if we go to the meeting of today, Meetings right. ask vice president to close, that's fine. So on the agenda of the meeting, you will most of the time see the link. If you click on the link, you can join the meeting on Zoom from here. To get your agenda, you just click on this hmm. icon and that's your agenda jumping in front of you. So that's the way to get your agenda and you can print it to your printer or you can have it on your screen, whatever suits you better. Fellow Toastmasters, that is in a nutshell some tips that you can use on Easy Speak. There is also a very useful button that is the meeting help on easy speak itself if i go back to easy speak so always if you want to find something easy speak videos very useful knowledge map has a variety of information that you can find there and of course we are also here to help in conclusion, we went to how to access your profile on EasySpeak, confirm your presence at a meeting, how to take a role, decline a role, how you request a speech, how you can set your goals and view your own progress on EasySpeak, and how you communicate via EasySpeak. And at last, I also gave some tips how you can access the help section on EasySpeak. That concludes my presentation. If there are any questions. <laughs> I have a question actually. <laughs> yes. It covered like plenty of information and tips, mm -hmm. but I have doubts about who manage the, who is able to assign roles. So if I'm, I don't assign my role, role myself because I can join in this moment or anything. There is any way maybe that the Toastmaster or who should be the person that can cover that and assign? Yes, if you don't take your own role, so you don't um, pick your own role, you can always put a message in the chat as we have been doing so far or send an email to Maggie and Maggie and her VPE team one will pick it up and make sure the agenda is up to date. That's just to confirm that is the right way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about guests? If we have a guest, is there is any way that we can include the girls in this speak or 
we just share the agenda, print and share the agenda with the guests or? You can share the meeting with a guest. If I just share my screen quickly. So if I go, for instance, because this meeting here at the right, no left, here at the left hand side, you can email meeting to a friend. So you email your meeting to a friend, but you can also send her name and email. Very important, we need the email, or if she's already on EasySpeak, her user ID on EasySpeak, and we can link her as, an, as a guest, as a special guest, a visitor to our page. Thank you, Sarinka. That's from my side. <laughs> <laughs> Any further questions? John? Yes. Thank you. And the presentation was wonderful. And I am a newbie to easy speak. Mm -hmm. I know I keep getting the message that I um, need permission to enter the site. So is it possible you could send the link to me again, and then I could reattempt? Absolutely, Joan. Absolutely. Okay. I appreciate that. I can see it from afar. I just I can't maneuver anything in it. Okay. Um, and I'm not quite sure why, but I appreciate if we could restart by you sending it to me again. Thank you. Okay, super. Okay. Paul. Uh, Sarinka, I'm a very experienced user of Easy Speak because when I joined when I joined Toastmasters, it's the only system of meeting administration that I ever came across. And I have difficulty understanding how any clubs can survive without easy speak, but that's just because of my limited experience of other clubs. I wanted to ask you um, what you think are the benefits of using easy speak from the point of view of the individual member keeping a record of what they have done over a period of time. Actually, you have answered your question yourself, Paul, because that's indeed the thing. You have a record, your history is kept there. And if I can just mention Ricardo quickly, Ricardo joined One Country, One World, and we just adopt his whole history into our system. So regardless which club you're a member of, whether you do your presentation here in one country, one world, or for instance, for Ricardo in Brazil, all his speeches are being recorded on his profile. So there is no doubt when the VPE is going to check what needs to be done for someone to reach another level, to just open easy speak and have a quick look. Thank you, Sorinka. You're welcome. I see the red light. So any further questions, please feel free to approach me, Jean or Maggie for an answer or for guidance. We are happy to help. Over to you, Wendy. Thank you so much, Sarinka. I believe that covers a lot of information and doubts that we were having about Easy Speak. Thanks for bringing that amazing tool to the club. Not just, it is just no United flavor knowledge. It's about all the Street 71 knowledge because you have been around and taking different roles that you have bringing that to here. So that's not just about traveling around the world, about bringing that information and that flavor to our session. Thank you so much, Narinka. <laughs>